Good morning, everyone. Really happy to be here. I'm Chris Chatto, uh, Principal and Architect uh, with ZGF Architects. Uh, so little context about ZGF and I think our connection and really interest in building decarbonization. We're uh, one of the top 10 largest architecture firms in the U.S., about 750 people and seven offices now, West Coast from Vancouver, uh, British Columbia to Los Angeles. Uh, I'm in our Portland, Oregon office. We have an office in Denver. And some on the East Coast, uh, DC and New York. And um, we're really lucky to work for a very diverse uh, client type, but a lot that have uh, really made big strides in having decarbonization goals. So we're working for institutions, universities, healthcare organizations. Uh, there's been a lot of deep, in, interesting developments in, in terms of setting decarbonization targets there, uh, working for municipalities, um, <clears throat> tech companies driving a lot of innovation. Um, and some, I think, some fairly enlightened uh, developer clients being multifamily or office with, with some big, big goals. And I think you know, my role for the last 15 years at CGF has really been advancing our sustainability practice. And so I've seen it from where we were just trying to convince clients to do lead and lead silver, and it's not going to cost that much, and really seeing a transformation in the market uh, where we are having clients uh, come to us now and saying, we we have this decarbonization goal. How do we get our campus, you know, this building? What do we do? And really starting to ask those questions. So it really has uh, transformed our practice. How we're doing that? We've um, you know we've been really hard at this. I think from a holistic perspective for the last five or six years, um, looking at embodied carbon. Uh, we signed on to the AI twenty thirty commitment in twenty ten. The first year we had been tracking building EUI, so really focused on energy efficiency for a while. Um, so I think we have a lot more of a handle on that where we're really seeing a lot of advances and more potential is really on the embodied carbon side and looking more holistically at building systems. You know, thus far it's been really looking at the big systems, the big drivers. So honestly, it's you know structure, it's concrete, um, it's using mass timber and looking at developing tools, some of these publicly available to share those. Um, and, uh, you know, in, in developing tools and processes within our practice to really make decisions. And what I'm excited about this uh, gathering really is that, you know, we're, we've been focused on those big, those areas where there's potential for making large reductions um, and where there's good data. And this building systems level is an area where there has been a lot less. And we've kind of, a lot of it's, you know, how much is MEP, how much is the mechanical components, we have good data on refrigerants, et cetera. But, I think lighting is one of those areas, uh, both you know, from an operational side, how can we do uh, grid management, interactive grid management, and then from an embodied carbon side too, if we're looking forward to advances there and really having that advance our practice and the consultants we work with. So I'm really happy to, to be here, um, hear more about these subtasks and, um, and learn from you all. So thank you.